Hellboy represents everything fun that you could do on a weekend. I mean, you've got this incredible hero who's like a kid and like this monster and he doesn't know how to communicate with people. People all hate him and he's just trying to help. Um, you've got these incredible set pieces, these different worlds that they go to. You have me, who's the most amazing villainess, um, amazing actors, great special effects. I mean, it's nonstop fun. I was so happy when I saw the movie. I was like, yes, it turned out so great. Uh, you know, I'm always really nervous to watch my movies because, uh, you know, just because selfishly, I'm always like scared to see what I did. And it was really incredible to lose myself in the film and not even like look at me like me, but just get swept away by the movie. And that's why I, I really think people are gonna love it because if I could forget myself watching it, I think an audience is gonna have a blast watching this. I love doing action. I've, uh, since I did The Fifth Element, I really understood that I have a love for action films, for martial arts, for these kind of bigger than life sets and characters. And so it kind of took me on this journey doing a lot of action movies. And when The Last Resident Evil, um, we finished, you know, I kind of was in a little bit of a withdrawal going, you know, I've got kind of like 20 years of experience doing martial arts and wire work and like helping the special effects department. And you know, I can bring so much to an action film experience wise, but what am I gonna do with all of this kind of useless information in my head? Cause it has like no practical, you know, I, I can't get any other job like doing this kind of thing. So when Hellboy came up, I was so excited and obviously a little nervous because it's such great franchise and such great movies. Um, but really excited to be able to bring my experience and, and help them make the best movie that they could make. Well, David is so much fun. And of course, anytime you come to a production and you're not like the lead lead and you're coming kind of in the midst of their shooting, you're always a bit nervous like, you know, how are people gonna accept you? And uh, I was welcomed with open arms by him. And he's so funny and just like jokes all day long. And you know, when you're wearing 40 pounds of prosthetics, it's not easy to like always be joking around and stuff, but he was such a trooper and did such a great job and just was a light on set, so fun and just easy to work with. Um, well, in a way, you know, I'm trying to take his son and make him a man. And of course, as a father, that's, I would imagine, very difficult. So, you know, we're, in a way, he's trying to raise Hellboy into the man he wants. And it's that quintessential woman that's going to take your son away and he'll never come home again. Um, so I think that's a very kind of relatable quality about this movie for fans and audiences.